Mike, you have your feeler, follow them. They're on 25 left, clear visual approaching by 25 right. There will be traffic south of you, maintaining visual separation with you. They will use 25 left. Okay, let me see if I got that straight. We're going to uh, visual 25 right, United 857. United 57, affirmative. Here, and where's the traffic? It's every day, uh, and when you get really busy, I mean, you could, I mean, think about Chicago Tower. They have probably seven to nine people up there. Everybody's talking. I mean, you've got your whole group of people, and you're yak, 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 and, but you're listening at the same time. You're listening to what's happening with those other people because there is an interrelationship between all the different positions. In order to do a very good tower simulator, you want the very best graphics possible. Do whatever it takes necessary to get the job done and get it right, and then make the customer have to feel my enthusiasm. Enthusiasm and, and, and see our commitment. And the scenario that you make for tower or radar can be used in either one of the simulators. Voice recognition, on the other hand, has been an area in which we have always led the market, primarily because of our artificial they intelligence turn that system. On you want them to see what they see from the control Great. tower. Dual grammars, one in English, one in French. I have French. a PhD in artificial intelligence. And I tend to hire people who are very interested in that So you're field. talking about seconds to do the same function. The R&D people within the FAA said, if you can succeed at O'Hare, you can, you can succeed anywhere. Tower Pro System is up at Chicago O'Hare. Chicago's the busiest control tower in the world. It was amazing. If you and all your controller friends were trained in the old way and sit down on the boards every day, control airplanes the same way you always did, that's the same as flying straight and level. You're not going to reach your own personal limit. You're not going to exceed that limit and thereby grow as a controller. In the late 70s, when I was working on my PhD, I chose the field of air traffic control as a suitable vehicle for studying artificial intelligence. Controllers had a very complicated problem to solve, and I wrote a program and did a theory on how the controller's mind might work in solving these problems. Under the auspices of U.S. government R&D contracts, Wesson International continued studying new man-machine interfaces and advanced planning and automatic conflict resolution for next-generation ATC sector suites. This culminated in the placement of four Tracon Pro simulators, where the FAA evaluated the Wesson system's effectiveness for training. And what made Wesson pioneers in the ATC industry? I think our design approach to begin with Everybody else had based their design on Unix or Silicon Graphics. That's an expensive approach. We decided to take off-the-shelf components and distribute the simulation across several CPUs. By minimizing the unique components, we didn't have to stop and wait for some manufacturer somewhere to make something especially for us. Bring all of this together with some smart coding and suddenly you've got a totally off-the-shelf system. Now, because of our artificial intelligence connection, we've always led the market in voice recognition. By taking the output and using it as an input to an AI filter, we wind up with an ultimate correct factor in the vicinity of 95, even 98 percent. One of the initial ideas we had was to take a graphical approach to everything we did. We felt interface-wise that Windows was going to be something that everybody would know and understand kind of intuitively. So a combination of either mouse controls or very simple keyboard commands allowed the person to look at the screen more and actually think about what they would do in the situation. So they're actually doing some learning. In fact, in the FAA facilities, WordPerfect is like the scenario generator of choice. That doesn't help you. It takes them probably uh, to make an ETG scenario maybe two weeks to actually build it, refine it, run it you know, go back and make changes to it, on and on. It's, a, it's at least a two-week process for them to get, say, an hour scenario. We could do the same thing in about 20 minutes. Wesson pioneered the development of advanced training applications and technologies. Simulator instruction takes advantage of every medium, from high-quality voice recognition and graphics to documents and computers. By enabling instructors to combine complex multi-sector exercises involving handoffs between tower, approach, PAR, and en route controllers, these systems enhance the quality of learning without losing the impact of on-the-job training. Each component is an easy-to-use graphical display. By allowing students and even experienced controllers to focus on ATC techniques and not complex computer systems, training becomes more productive and exciting. Simulated arrivals, departures, finals, sectors, and MOAs, as well as local flight data, ground and clearance delivery positions in the tower configuration, allow controllers to interact as they do in the live environment. 
The communication system is a Windows, touchscreen-based, user-configurable, client-server network that controls all switching requests from all voice modules. And to intensify realism, instructors can automatically or manually enter pilot requests, emergencies, and random flight plan change requests. Simulate weather fronts, multiple fronts, and isolated storms. Select aircraft, compose flight routes, and create an unlimited number of scenarios in minutes. Record and manipulate real pilot voices for a variety of vocal tones and pitches. Constantly monitor student violations. Simulate VFR and IFR traffic and pop-ups. Network multiple student pseudo-pilot instructor positions. The result is not just better training. It's efficient and safe control of air traffic. Every aspect of the control experience is perfectly simulated, whether it's the precise taxiing of aircraft by the control tower or perpetuating the smooth flow of traffic from the TRACON. Wesson International has three professional radar training simulators. TRACON Pro and its military counterpart RAPCON Pro were designed for the TRACON environment. And because terminal air traffic control doesn't stop at the approach sector boundary, Enroute Pro was developed to provide controllers the most realistic simulation of an Enroute radar environment. When the U.S. Air Force ordered 342 RAPCON systems to replace T-4 simulators, Wesson supplied the Precision Approach Radar offering FPN-62 and GPN-22 radar displays. RTIS is the marriage of radar and tower on a single CPU. Developed for Transport Canada, one color monitor runs radar with all the valuable features of TRACON, while the second monitor provides the student with a 3D view of the aircraft. More detailed, complex rule sets allow part-task training by requiring students to run scenarios using a specific set of standards and rules. Individual skills will be practiced in isolation before they are integrated with previously mastered skills. This simulator will also provide ATC students with unlimited access to high-fidelity computer-generated practice scenarios in the tower environment. RTIS includes voice recognition, conflict detection, immediate feedback to the student when an error is made, and a performance tracking system for instructors to boost student skills to unparalleled levels. For the ultimate in visual ATC training, Wesson offers Tower Pro. This system delivers a three-dimensional, 360-degree, out-the-window view with rich full-motion visuals and lifelike stereo sound. This dynamic tower environment was created in partnership with BAO, best known for its top-selling Microsoft Flight Simulator. Well, in order to do a very good tower simulator, you need the very best graphics possible, three-dimensional graphics. There was only one company that did that, BAO. So together, we formed a new company, Aviation Simulations Incorporated, and proceeded to develop Tower Pro. Chicago O'Hare bought the first one. The FAA said to us, if you can succeed at O'Hare, you can succeed anywhere. So we put one up there. It's been a marvelous success. Our tower approach system is up at Chicago O'Hare, the busiest control tower in the world. And not just in the number of aircraft that they have, but in the complexity of the operation. In fact, they say the uh, two ground control positions up there are probably the busiest air traffic control positions in the United States. After they did a study on the first class, they had students who had only seen three hours of live traffic who were actually working the 7 a.m. rush because of what the Tower Pro system had given them. Tower Pro uses multiple projection screens to provide a 360-degree out-the-window view of the airport. ASD, D-Bright, flight strips, and other information displays are delivered. Additional features include wind gauges, altimeter, daylight to dust lighting, runway lights, and binocular view. And everything from the radar system, from student evaluation capabilities and aircraft motion, to the easy-to-use Windows-based front end. Its advanced networking capabilities with the radar systems allow real-time student-to-student interaction that most closely mimics the live TRACON to tower procedures. Wesson International is committed to continue the development of new and innovative technologies to enhance the ATC training world. We have global focus. We bring air traffic control training into the next century. Success won't be measured in scenarios run or hours spent, but rather in lives saved. Wesson International. <laughs>